Well, Mick, looking ahead to Saturday, big week for you with Sam Red and the Golden Slipper. How did she come through her last run? Well, look, you can only train them and um, you can only do what your eyes tell you to do. And she has thrived, uh, been really good here at Randwick. I love my horses here. Uh, I've had a bit of joy training out of here. Um, look, it's been warmer weather for her. Uh, she come up here, little spots of ringworm on her and... You know, there's a few little things in her coat, uh, but they've disappeared and she's really bloomed. Um, had a solid gallop here this morning on the course proper, which went really well. Sammy Clippert and Rhoda, 49 kilos, worked with Lichtenstein. Uh, they run half mile 48-1, um, 35-2, 11-3, uh, according to the... Yeah, the uh, clocking men here, that's about as good as they uh, go. Uh, so, look, she's sound, she's perfect. Um, you know, she has to peak twice. She has to peak in a blue diamond and a golden slipper, but um, I think if any horse can, any two-year-old is ready for it, she is. So uh, I'm pretty confident about it. How tough has it been for you to prepare her, given that she had the run in December at Flemington, then you had to get her ready for the diamond and now the slipper? It was a consideration and, um, you know, we had to time our run into the Blue Diamond um, basically per day. She went to uh, Damien Murphy's and had a break after, when she, when she won her first start, we then set a plan for the Blue Diamond um, per day basically and that all went well. I was always, at, I, I could not have run in the uh, 1000 metre preview, you know, we only had time to, you know, go up, get, on, get her on the up and run in the um, prelude, uh, which was good. So the 1100 brought her on, two weeks later wins the Blue Diamond. It's a little bit similar here. Uh, she went back to Rock Mount after the Blue Diamond and had about 10 days. Um, paddock during the day, box at night, you know, to sort of rejuvenate her a bit. Um, look, I think she's as good as we could ask her to be. I've seen no signs of her training off. If she's not there on the day, well, fair enough, you know. Uh, but for everything we see and we know, uh, she's perfect. She always throws up a rip and blood pitcher. So, uh, yeah, no excuses. The race changed complexion on Saturday. For you, probably for the worst with the performance of All Too Hard. What do you make of his run? Yeah, look, he's a bit scary, isn't he? Especially if he's got half of her genes. Um, you know, he'll go and win if he's um, got a little bit of black caviar in him, which obviously he has. Um, yeah, he's scary opposition, um, you know, to be fair. Um, it's, look, he, he wasn't pressured in the size, he wasn't pressured at his first start. Um, I'm not saying he, he's probably going to shine under pressure, you know, as the good horses do. And he's had, he's had good experience, you know, he had a soft, he had a soft race the other day for, for a nice colt. Um, so, yeah, he's um, to be respected. Do you feel that your filly, though, can take a right up to him? Well, my filly is totally professional, uh, has done the job, copes with traffic, copes with accelerating in a run and then having to do it again. Um, you know, uh, look, I think she's deserved favourite on form and uh, she can win, but uh, it is a slipper, so, uh, you know, we're never, we're never sort of... Uh, putting too much money on, but uh, we're pretty confident. You have the barrier draw today for the slipper. Where would you like to see a draw? Look, I think anywhere between 5 and 12, somewhere there where you can bounce and be off the fence and out of trouble. And, uh, you know, you would think at the top of the straight from that gate, you get every chance to be there. Um, I think anywhere between there is fine. Looking to your run as a Caulfield also, testing my patience runs in the Victoria Handicap, and you've also nominated Faster Sun and Sheila Star. Uh, they'll probably all run in that. Sheila Star would be better suited to the mares, but um, I had a discussion with Eric Butler. I think he wants to take on the um, Group 3 race, which is fine. You know, she's a nice mare and probably deserves a chance at black type. Uh, would be hard to beat in the mares and got to get a run in the other one, but probably will. Um, faster sun's up in grade and tricky horse. You know, he hasn't got a lot of races left in his career to win. Um, and test of my patience was disappointing at Mooney Valley. Uh, I thought that he made his run too early and knocked up. Um, tried, but, but he's, he's probably going to run well without winning, you know, and move on to a mile. What's headed for him, test of my patience, after Saturday? Could he come up here for the Doncaster? Originally, yes. Uh, but on his first up run, no. I'm too far behind on him. Uh, so... Uh, 
I've just got to get it, get a few races into him before we can sort of um, you know pin one on him. But uh, he's Group Two winner. It's not easy to place, but I'm a bit far behind for the Doncaster yet. So late Sydney Carnival or Brisbane more likely? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Chase some better prize money there. Yeah.